Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James and this is the channel where we talk all things digital. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And just so you know, every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, we are live. Tuesdays is superheroes and Fridays is whatever. And if you have a topic you want us to talk about, email us at digitalsharkcooterie at gmail.com. You can find that in the description down below. But today we got to get right to it. Raylo is happening. The Skywalker saga has come and gone, but Raylo lives forever. Some people believe in Raylo, some people did not. Whether or not it happened, if we saw it play out, in the theater during the rise of skywalker i guess it remains to be seen for some people but we got to get right into it because there is a galactic star star cruiser a galactic star cruiser and if you have a boatload of money if you were able to follow the rainbow until the end and you found the leprechaun's pot of gold you'll be able to afford to go on this galactic star cruiser uh, but if you're like me, you will probably won't do it and you're not going to check it out. However, on this cruiser, two people that can't afford to go on it are Kylo Ren and Ray Nobody. And they are on this one and the word on the street is that they actually are going to be interacting. Now the Galactic Star Cruiser is, I believe it's doing some promotional stuff right now. Some preview visits are happening. It officially launches on March 1st. So more word will come out on this on March 1st. But there is apparently an interaction between Rey and Kylo Ren, which would kind of go against what we believe happens in between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. But this isn't anything new. They're doing this with Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Obi-Wan Kenobi show is going to have Darth Vader and Obi-Wan face off against each other at least two times and of course in a new hope it's a presence i have not felt since and we're led to believe that that last time was of course revenge of the sith but things could change you can do whatever you want no word is out what happens in this actual interaction my guess is my gut is telling me there will be a couple of words and then a fun lightsaber fight for the audience the guests at the galactic star star cruiser to watch uh, in attendance that's my that is my guess i don't think there's going to, be, going to be any more to it i don't think there'll be any uh force force uh force timing each other or anything like that it'll just be a a fun epic lightsaber fight perfectly choreographed with your dinner or something to that effect but does that take away from Raylo? no i believe it's going to add to Raylo because also now hear me out, this could be a stretch, but let's go along with this, Raylo. There is a rumors of a show, Star Wars show, taking place after Episode 9. Skywalker Saga is coming on, but Episode 9 happened, and the characters live on. Rey is still out there, Finn, Poe, blah, blah, they're all out there. But let's focus on Rey for a minute. There's also a rumor that John Watts is being discussed to direct an episode or two of an upcoming Star Wars show. We don't know what the show is. We do know that John Watts directed, obviously, the three Spider-Man films for Marvel, but he also did Cop Car. If you haven't seen Cop Car, it's about two kids who steal a cop car. Kevin Bacon, fantastic. So John Watts is rumored to be doing a show that no one knows what it is, but works a lot with kids, works very well with kids or young actors. There's also a rumor that they're that they are hiring actors for a show that they're calling Stranger Things in Space, a Star Wars Stranger Things type show, which would feature 10 or 11 year old children, which would fit perfectly with John Watts. And also what I said, there's the rumors of a show that takes place after the sequel trilogy. If you put all of these pieces together, there is the plausibility that perhaps at the end of The Rise of Skywalker, Ray could be pregnant with Ben Solo's child. Breathe life into one another. It is very plausible that life was created. It's Star Wars. Life is created in the most bizarre, obscure ways. We saw Anakin. There's no explanation for Anakin. There could be no explanation for this next character, this next protagonist, protagonist on our journey. And with that, you extend it. You keep it going. It's no longer a Skywalker saga, but it is a, Sky a Star Wars saga. And it perfectly is in line with everything else. And it branches off and becomes its own thing. But you have the offspring of Rey and Kylo 
Ray and Ben, and you never really have to dig into it for the people that hate it because oh, it was Twilight in space. But for the people who love it, it's right there for you. They're meeting in this on the Galactic Star Cruiser for a reason. Disney, Lucasfilm, they all know that this sells, that Raylo sells. You can tell this story and keep it going. And so you have the, the John Watts, Stranger Things in Space, TV show, Disney Plus series taking place after the sequel trilogy. It all adds up to me to become something of a Raylo some kind of conclusion to the arc of of Ray and Ben Solo. Would Adam Driver show up? Would Daisy Ridley show up? Would it even matter? Cameos, small appearances. I think it is Star Wars. Star Wars is big enough that you could entice them to return to complete their arc. We saw it with Andrew Garfield. We saw it with Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man. Not as much time has passed, obviously, but if you're telling the right story, you don't even have to do it in the first season. You can prolong it, prolong it, prolong it. This child, this child does not know who he or she is the child of, which would be kind of typical, but maybe Ray is training this child, and that's how you learn the truth of that. Lots to discuss, lots to unpack with Raylo, but what do you guys think? Is Raylo back hard? Did, does Disney, does Lucasfilm, do they understand that this is their bread and butter, that they could make huge business with this? Are they just doing this encounter on the Galactic Cruiser 2 entice fans to kind of draw you in to make you want to take out your wallet and spend all your hard-earned cash on this? Or is it just a show and they're just doing this because these are the characters and this is the time period that they want to go in because they don't know what's happening after the Skywalker saga so they can't make the, the Galactic Cruiser after the Skywalker saga. You can't do it in between because there's not that much time there and I, I could be wrong but, but two might take place in that time. And so you have this obviously between uh, Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker and this is the only time period that they can have these characters interacting. So will you be attending? Let me know in the comments below, and if you are, <laughs> tell me how it is. And if you are interested in seeing how Raylo plays out, let me know in the comments below as well. But until then, I'm James, and may you be the master of your own universe.